Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a mystery thread up unboxing. So a few weeks ago I did purchase the 200 pound mystery mixed clothing for women and I have already opened up three of these boxes and have sorted through them, have set aside stuff that I'm gonna resell. I've already auctioned off some stuff on the other platform called Whatnot. And I did save the last one for YouTube. So we can just, it's a complete mystery. I'm gonna unbox it here and then while I unbox it, I'm gonna and I'll let you know if I feel like I could resell it or if I could sell it to a buy sell trade store and at least get like two or three bucks for it because with all of this I am trying to make as much money back as I possibly can but um, to fill you in on the other three boxes so there were four I gotta go get the one that we're about to unbox but there were four of these huge boxes so 50 pounds a piece and um, I have already like completely donated and or trashed about one full of uh, box of this. So uh, I would say about another one is stuff that's like buy, sell, trade store worthy where I could probably get about $3 on average per piece. And then about another box is resellable by me or I have already resold it on a new platform that I sell on called Whatnot. So I'm not going to focus on that too much today because this is purely a just a mystery unboxing. If you enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button. But without further ado, I'm going to go grab that box and we're just going to see. I'm really, really hoping that this one is like the one that, that that seals the deal where I will buy it again. But the first one in short was like a four out of 10. The second one was better. Um, and that one was like an eight, eight and a half out of 10. And then the third one was like another four out of 10, like a three and a half, four out of 10, not the best. So I'm really hoping for another, at least a solid eight out of 10 with this last box. Oh, I really hope so. I, hope, I really hope so. Oh my gosh, let me grab it. Okay. So, got my scissors, got my last, my fourth and final box from ThreadUp. I also forgot to mention too, for 200 pounds of all this mystery clothing, um, you're not guaranteed anything except the weight, which honestly, I haven't even checked the weight. So, I'm sure they probably have like big giant scales and they weigh it all out and just dump it all in there. But, <laughs> um, it was $400 um, plus tax. So I wanna think it was four. 10 ish, maybe 420 ish total. Um, I will leave the total up on the screen for you guys just so you know. Um, if you are interested, or I can have it linked in the description below um, if you guys are interested in doing this mystery unboxing for you, your reselling business, trying to get like the 10% of the really good stuff and the rest of it, you can just try your luck at buy, sell, trade stores, send it back to thread up is what some people do. I do, I might try that with some things, but I, I usually have better luck with local buy, sell, trade stores. And then I get credit and get better inventory for my reselling business. You guys can kind of see. This video is also going to be a little bit more raw. It's not going to be highly edited because it's an unboxing. Come on, this is fun. This is all a mystery, right? For anybody that's a reseller. <laughs> Um, I do have this other box over here for the stuff that's like buy, sell, trade, store worthy. And then stuff that's just like trash, trash, I'll just chuck on the floor over there. And then stuff that's like really good. I have a, ch I don't have enough like boxes over here. Um, I have a chair over here to, to set aside. So without further ado, let's just dig in and see what we have. I don't know how quickly I'm going to be able to do all of this. Hopefully I don't run out of battery. All right, first up, I don't know. Oh, that reminds me, like some of my best pieces, I found some Rick Owens in one of the boxes. And then I also found like some old like Y2K coach, uh, Y2K coach puffer jacket, but it did have a really bad rip in it. So I'm hoping I can fix that. Okay, so this doesn't have a brand, but I think based on style, this dress could still sell. Like it's really cute. Um, a buy sell trade store would for sure take it, but it might be something that I could try on a platform just in case I could model that. It's a size medium. I would have to check it over for flaws again, which I do. I go through all of this at least like five, five times. So we got some Massimo. Oh no, if any of you saw where I opened these before, then you know that I was cursed with Massimo in my first box. Oh my goodness, but these are some joggers. So based on style, these are actually resale worthy. I mean, maybe only 10 or 15 bucks, but it might be a buy, sell, trade store. If I can get a quick flip on that, it might be good. I might reassess if this whole box is a buy, sell, trade store uh, worthy. So Calvin Klein workout pants, 
Um, these are cropped, they're mesh, size medium, with some mesh on the back. That's, that's resale worthy, slash buy, sell, trade store worthy. In terms of that, this looks like a New Day 2XL, a cardigan, which as long as it's not flawed, the Target brands actually do resell for me, um, and they have been selling on uh, whatnot. So it's like, a, it's just a good basic brand. This is a navy cardigan, and because fall's coming up, and it's a plus size, um, if I were to resell it on a platform, I'd probably get about 10 or 15 bucks on it. So we have a rope attached to something. <laughs> Let's see what it is. This is a rope dress. It ties in the back. I just had another tie dress. Okay, is this another boutique brand? Oh no, Urban Outfitters. Sweet. 100% cotton, Urban Outfitters. Oh, it might be a free people because it has an OB number. I didn't see the free people tag in it. Oh, there it is. I'm dumb. Okay, well, hopefully it doesn't have floss. It is a size medium. Maybe this is somebody's wardrobe. It's all a bunch of size medium. So I need to check this over for flaws, but we have a really pretty, this is like boho. This is, this is free people through and through. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like it's in decent condition. Why did they not take that? I'll have to double check it, but that is for sure something that I would like to resell. Maybe there's something wrong with the tassels. I'm gonna try and get through this pretty quick. This is the brand Lucy. Have you guys resold Lucy, this activewear brand? Every time I've seen it, it just hasn't seemed that good enough of like a, of a pickup for me, but I know some buy, sell, trade stores do pick it up, so I will put that in that box. Let's see, Period New York. Wow, that's like a, what is that, 80s, 90s, 90s maybe? Probably 90s, early 2000s actually. Those colors, it has some beading on it. 70% rayon, 15% nylon. Yeah, I don't even think a buy sell trade store would take that. I don't think that's, I don't know. And maybe it's somebody's style. I don't really know though. Well, we'll set it aside for now. I usually, the things that I just trash immediately is just like stuff that's like really horribly flawed. When I found cashmere in some of the other boxes, it inevitably always had holes in it. So like out in the middle of the open, like just like randomly, I'm like, you can't fix that. If it's on a seam, you can fix it, sure, but, or at least my sewing skills are not that good, so it's very basic. We got some curvy size 18 Worthington black pants. So a lot of buy, sell, trade stores are looking for plus size two, so we will set that aside. Let's see what's next. So far, one like really, really like resale worthy for me personally. When I say resale worthy earlier, I meant like buy, sell, trade store, like, I might resell some of them if I'm low on like really good inventory from this box. This is Zella size large. Looks like a zip up jacket and not zip up. Okay, never mind. I lied. That's probably how it's supposed to go. It's probably like a cape, like a, a button closure cardigan thing. It's really heavy weight. It's heavy duty. There is some pilling all in like this the armpit hole that we need to be sweater shaved. But other than that, I think I could, I'd be able to could resell that. Some Zella, Zella, ASP is like 25 bucks. So maybe, maybe I might resell that once I sweater shave it. 25, 30 bucks, maybe. I'll have to look at the style. Some pieces obviously do better than other pieces from Zella. All right, we got Philosophy Republic clothing. It's a cute little red tiered dress, little mini sundress. It's actually a uh, pretty flouncy, like heavyweight, heavy duty. I feel like I could probably get like 20 bucks for that. This is like a hot weather Christmas dress or Valentine's Day dress. I feel like I could do that. Okay, let's go on. Let's see what else is here. Ro Romans, Romans. A bubbly dress, a little shift t-shirt dress thing. That would probably be buy, sell, trade store. All right, sorry, the angle probably changed. I had to change my battery. Okay, so, so these are some Viore athletic pants, which I think is a little bit of a higher end brand. I really haven't found it though. I've heard some people talk about it, so I'll have to double check it. I think it is a higher end athletic brand. I guess editing me will let you know. So we will probably set that aside to resell. All right, we, ooh, we got some Madewell, okay. Madewell doesn't resell like it used to though. It's probably stained. Might be able to stain treat that. There's like a, some light yellowing on it, but we might be able to resell that. 
it. Or I might be able to put that on one of my platforms. I'll set that in there for now. We'll see if somebody else wants to stain treat it before me. And if not, then I'll, I'll resell it and stain treat it. All right, this one is Universal Thread Extra Large. It's in like a textured cotton sort of material. Universal Thread does sell, not for a lot, but the bigger sizes, the bigger the better with Universal Thread and like a new day and stuff. And if it's a cute style, which it usually has cute styles. Um, so this I would probably try um, one of my platforms. I could get a quick three bucks from either either Whatnot or, or the Buy Sell Trade store. So. We'll probably try that first, which I'm sure it will sell, but if not, then I could probably get about 10 or 15 on it, but probably not until next year because we're going into fall now. So this is Windsor, a very, very, very fake leather jacket. We'll put that in a buy sell trade store because that's not even like nice faux leather. Ooh, what are these? Let's see, so small. Some sort of seamless leggings. With some mesh. I don't know the brand. I don't see the brand on here. It just says size small. Maybe it's some sort of knockoff. 1552A Alpha. I don't know. I'll have to do like a Google lens, but they are seamless. Worst case scenario, I'll probably keep them for me, but um, seamless leggings usually do well. So maybe I can model those and, and sell them. No branded seamless leggings. All right, this one isn't bad. Wild Fable Extra Large. Cute little cottage core sort of pattern. That's pretty. I'll resell that. Yeah, apparently Thread It was not take these fast fashion brands, even though they're super trendy anymore. So it could be in perfect condition, but they just don't take it. So, I mean, they're, they're quick buy, sell, trade store flips or um, just, just quick turnover. This is just a plain white tee. 2XL from H&M, no tags. It was originally six whole dollars. So, I mean, I could do it. I'm not really into, into tie dye. I don't know what to do with that, to be honest with you. Probably buy some trade store because there will be somebody else. I, like I have a pile of things that I want that are like I need to fix or I should fix that, but then I'm never going to. So, all right, this is the brand Dahlia, which I feel like I should know, but for whatever reason, I'm drawing a blank. It's okay quality. Let's see what the inside tag looks like. And it's ripped out. So, for now, we're gonna put it in the buy, sell, treat store section. And then we have rose and olive, size small. We got a bubble print sleeveless top, which is buy, sell, trade store worthy. Size small candy cane leggings. All right, those are very cheap. I'll try those on the buy, sell, trade store, but I doubt that they're even gonna take those. All right, so far I have one, two, three, four, five things to like straight up resell myself and everything else is basically buy, sell, trade store. This is almost famous with a loose button that I'm not gonna fix and I'm sure nobody else is, so I'm probably just gonna donate that. Press columnist size 2R work pants, which my friend Macy over at Blue Consignment I'll have to remember to link her in the description. I usually, if I mention any of my friends, YouTube friends, or anybody that I, that I get an idea from, if I mention them in a video, I'll usually have them in the description. But she actually does really well with um, like career wear. And like, so I'll have to see, these are nice. There is a mark on them though. See, I like the, the seams on that. It feels very well structured. This is just Express, the columnist, 2R. I might be able to get that little spot out, but that, I mean, it's not bad. It's just like this little mark right here, which I think I'll, I'll be able to get out. So I don't know. I'll, I'll need to look this up. Let me look them up real quick. I think I have plenty of battery life because I don't think buy, sell, trade stores are really, they're usually looking for trendy, not practical. All right, 35, 39, a lot of four for 60, different colors, 20. So if you do nice, nice pictures and okay we can probably get 25 out of those so i think i'll try to resell those we have cool story some pants that i don't know where they belong those are definitely by sell trade store we have two of them am i supposed to know this brand what kind of pants are these they definitely don't feel quality so two of them three of them four of them no five six 
Oh no. Okay, that's something else. What are those? <gasps> no. Anna, can you believe it? They put six of these pants in here. Do I, am I supposed to know these? All right, I'm gonna look them up real quick to see if I'm, they look like soccer team pants or something. Full story pants. I don't think those are anything. Lovely. Yeah, no, mm, I could kind of tell by how they are too. So that's great. Six pants that are duds. Let's see, we have Mercer and Madison. It's definitely an older, older print which will probably be a buy sell trade store, but they probably wouldn't even pick it up because it's probably too old for them. We have Forever 21, very highly stained on the back, so we're gonna donate that one. Ann Taylor signature fit lower on the waist. Little Bermuda shorts, buy sell trade store. W5, size large, buy sell trade store. <laughs> Uh, this one looks promising. It's probably a Target brand, is my guess. Andrea Jovine, looks like maybe potentially vintage. Has acrylic, nylon, cotton, and 10% wool. So there's a wool, wool blend in there. Actually, this is cute. Ooh, what size was it? I might try it on for, for me. This is my favorite color, like blue. It's like a very earthy blue, a size medium. That would be oversized on me. Oh, that's cute. And look at that sleeve. Okay. Is there something blatantly that I'm that I'm like missing on this? Blaringly obvious? No, that's cute. Oh, I love that style. This is something I would pick up in the thrift store. And if I were to sell it, it would probably go for like 30 bucks. Probably 30 bucks, because I would model it, but this actually, that might be staying home with me. Okay, let's see. Something to new with tags. Oh my lord, that's chunky. Chunky, chunky. This looks probably something from a tourist shop. I don't, I don't even know. Oh no, I don't, I don't think it's even worth it. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna set that over there. All right, Bobby Brooks 2X plus size, which it is open knit cardigan, which has a loose thread. Is it because there's holes? All right, try to trim that up and take that to a buy sell trade store. All right, acceleration to XL. Oh my gosh, look at that style. Ivory lace with coral underneath. We'll put that in the buy sell trade store. <laughs> oh, pile BP. BP is just a uh, Nordstrom Rack house brand, but it's a pretty ivory silk tank. It's like a closet staple. If I were to resell it, it'd probably get like 10 or 15 bucks, but I might try it for me. Thought that was Lululemon. It gets me every time. RBX, still good quality. Activewear pants. These are crop with pockets. Pockets helps. Pretty light blue, size like medium. So we might try either whatnot or buy sell trade store. And then if it doesn't sell, then I can resell it. All right, Kirkland, which I think is sold at what? Costco. <laughs> That is for sure my sell trade store. We have some old, old, old cabbie jeans. And we got a little black mark on the bum, which could, it's, that's definitely a, not a bad thing. I don't even know. Let me look at the style real quick. We still got plenty of battery life. They'll probably eventually make a comeback because trends always come back around, but still. So he's trying to sell them for 26. So he's trying to sell them for 30. I haven't seen any solds. So we might try that to see if anybody likes them. And maybe whatnot, or buy sell trade store. What size? These are a 10, so they're bigger. Okay, there's a $32 sold. Which they could have taken an offer. Those are newer. These are old. All right, $10 on the old. $12 on the old. Old, old, this is old label cabbies, so. Is it even worth trying to fix? Maybe not. I can try them at the Bristol Trade Store. I don't really even wanna, I don't even wanna try to steam treat those because I don't think they're worth it. All right, we have rough phone. Rough phone. Like sewn, but with an H. I don't think so. So I think we're gonna put those in a buy sell trade store. I don't know. I mean, they're kind of, yeah, I think we'll do buy sell trade store on that. We have some We The Free. This is old label. My goodness. Old We The Free label. 
Cold shoulder, red top. Honestly, that one might be a, like a whatnot for style. New tags. This is sold at TJ Maxx for, I think, brand new. It's like 15, maybe 20 bucks, but it is a cute style. And I know the Bicep Trade Stores would pick it up. So maybe we'll try that on whatnot first and then buy sell trade and then let's see here xl boutique brand that'll be buy sell trade forever 21 size medium there's like no home hitters yet home runs no home runs just yet forever 21 maroon pants with a thread those will be buy sell trade Let's see, come on. Mystery box gods. Polyester, this looks like some sort of vintage piece. I don't see a brand on it though. Might actually just be a boutique brand. All right, Riders, High Rider by Lee. Size 10, which is a bigger size. Is there puckering on that? It's just kind of worn. I might try those and whatnot first and then buy sell trade. This box, we almost have a whole other box full. Dan skin, buy sell trade. What else is this? Knox Rose. Knox Rose is making a comeback, you guys. People are really liking Knox Rose right now. This is 2XL and um, apparently the bigger size is the better. Of course, like the maxi dresses do better, but even the, the tops are doing well. This is like a plum purpley color, like a floral lace up on the back. It's a 2XL, so I think we'll probably try on whatnot first. Let's see here. We got some mud, <laughs> some mud size large. This is probably a junior size large. Some faux leather crackled leggings. I saw trained. We got some, it's like a nice tag. Inza Costa or Ezra Costa. Costa Costa. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know the brand. I feel like I'm supposed to. We got a big ol' furry bit. 100% Supima cotton, handmade in LA. Okay, looks like it's worthy of looking it up. Let's see if I can Google Lens this tag real quick. Enza Costa? I can't really read that. I don't think it goes for much though. Enza Costa top. Sure. Mm, yep, it's one of those labels where it makes you look it up, but it, I don't think it's worth a whole lot of anything. Mm, looks like some stuff is sold for 30, 35, something sold for 52. It's a nicer tag though. 52 on that. Ah, maybe. It might be worth it. I don't know. It's very sheer though, but I know sheer is in. If there's no flaws, then we can try it. We'll try it. We'll just set it. Maybe we'll do a whatnot on that first. What is this? Big little fuzzy, chunky treasure and bond. Size small, chunky knit sweater. That'll be a bicycle trade store. All right. Getting close, getting close. Looks like some sort of puffer next. All right, Old Navy size small, everyday shirt. It's like a men's, which they will probably take at the Bicel Trade Store. Won't get much for it, maybe two, 250, but come on, is this anything good? Nope, it's not. Dip, apparently this is sold at people's Kroger's. I had no idea until one of my live auctions, so. That will be more buy, sell, trade store. <laughs> Anything good. Blue rain, size medium, come on. That's a buy, sell, trade store. I didn't even look for flaws on that. I'm just trying to hurry so I don't run out of battery. Some Hollister double zero R's, 23 waist and a 31 inch length with which I might have a potential buyer for this size. So is it double zero? Yeah. High rise flare. Yeah, I might have a potential buyer for this. Hold on to that. Otherwise I would say high rise flare, it is a really small size. So I'd probably just say just average ASP on that would probably be 20. 
we'll just say. Oh, this is no, this is a nothing. That's a nothing glass. And it had holes in it, so let's donate. We have Levi's. Denim jacket. I can I can hang. I can hang as long as it's in good condition. Everybody needs a denim jacket. I can model this one. I know some of them, I know there's like the trucker jackets. Make sure it has all those buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's little baby buttons, little baby buttons. This is an extra large. It looks older too, so I think it would do well. That's probably at least, I don't know, I'll have to look at the style. I would say at least 30, 30-ish 30 on that. Especially with fall coming up, so I need to get that listed. Stat. This is nothing. XXI. What is that? Forever 21? Next. Your Apostle. Extremely sheer. Who in their right mind? Wear that. I don't I don't get it. Or who would let their, their dog wear that? I don't know. Divided. Crochet long sleeve. Which can I know some people are still kind of wearing that style, so maybe the Bicel Trade Store will pick it up. We got another divided H&M crochet sort of sweater. <laughs> we have a little row. Bicel Trade Store. <laughs> oh, I think at this point people have probably figured out if they're ever going to get one or not. I mean, it's a fun mystery, but I don't know. More LuLaRoe, extra, extra small. Skirt. Ooh, this looks like linen. Come on, be something good. White Stag, women's plus size. 55% linen, so green is in. White Stag, I don't think I've ever sold White Stag. But since it's here, maybe I'll try it on what? Oh my goodness, I don't know. I've never even looked up comps on this. But plus size, it is plus size. It's a cute like little, you can wear it as like a shacket. And this old linen blend, I think we'll try that on whatnot. Then I actually might resell that if it doesn't sell not first. Okay, what's this? Jessica Howard, vintage brand, size eight. That's like a style. I will, I'm trying to dabble a little bit more into vintage. This. Feels like there's going to definitely for sure be sequins missing. So we're gonna put that at a Bicel Tree Store because I do sometimes find vintage dresses there. We'll see. All right, this has nothing on it up top. It's a cute, cute style. Let's see, probably just a boutique brand. Inside tag, there's a style number on it. Designed by RYU. RYU. I don't know. The style's cute though, so I feel like this would be probably buy, sell, trade store, or whatnot. And I feel like the style will sell it. That is extremely stained, and it's a no nothing brand, JNK. That is a for sure donate. Avia, size medium. I think this workout brand sold at Walmart. I think Plato's picks up Avia, so. We're getting close to the end, you guys, and I am, this is teetering on a four right now. This is lily white, size large, florally top. Don't know her. We have Zara, a little Zara cottage core sort of tank, which I feel like would sell. Not for a whole lot, but 10 to 15. What is this? This is a 3X jacket by Fashion Bug. I don't know. I don't know. Do, do buy, sell, trade stores pick up Fashion Bug? Where is Fashion Bug even sold? Is there any good like material in here? Polyester rayon spandex lining 100% polyester. It's considered double breasted. That's a keyword. <laughs> I'm reaching. I'm reaching. Let me look at the style. It's a, just a plain black. I mean, it's stiffly covered in fuzzies. Maybe? 
I don't know. This is a maybe. Maybe the bicycle trade stores will take it. This one's a piece by Miami, which I don't resell. This is a blue lace skirt. Almost famous. It's a large red dress. Bicycle trade store. You guys, we're almost to the end. We got some Halloween running shorts, size extra large. That's 15. That's 15 bucks. Yeah, sure, I'll resell those. Yeah, I could do that. 15, 15 ish. I'll probably list it at 20. And then it should go for about 15. Exhilaration, extra small. Faux fur, faux fur vest. Which I feel like the bicycle trade store would pick that up. Easy peasy. Arizona jeans. Orange button up. More Reese's. What is that? I want to think it was like a, a, a person print, but I don't even know what that print is. Like maybe three more items in this box, you guys. And I'm gonna call that a big, big, big bust. A big bust. Every, am I supposed to know this? It looks like I, sh I should know that brand. Every, oh, it's new tags. Every, it's by Kohl's, $50 retail. It was a lace kimono. Okay, well, that might sell for 20, 15 or 20. As long as there's no holes, I gotta inspect that. A lace kimono, okay, that one's okay. Mimi Chica, pleather, pleather skirt, some stain champion, and the wrist, and last piece, does not look promising, and it's not. Size small, wild fable, <laughs> the little embroidered rose and some marks on the back. Well, it definitely did not end on a banger as I hoped, so, my first box was rated a four out of 10. The second one was the best, like an eight and a half out of 10. The third one was like a three and a half. And this one I would say is another three and a half. So what's our average there? Four out of 10 plus an eight and a half plus a 3.5 plus a 3.5, 19.5 divided by four. Our average of these boxes out of 10 was a 4.875. So they're they're definitely a fail in terms of uh, any schooling <laughs> not too impressive so there is stuff to resell i definitely think i will be able to i think i've already made my money back with some of the pieces that i pulled from the other from the other uh, boxes but this is pretty pretty standard let's see how many pieces i set aside so i have this one lace kimono which is probably like a 20 dollars sale this is probably a 15 Let's add it up real quick. 20 plus a 15. This is gross sales, and then I'll do the calculations. The Levi's, I'm gonna be um, conservative and just say 30 on it. It might actually go for higher. These Hollisters, the double zeros, we'll say 20, but I think I might have a buyer for those, so they might go a little bit less. The BP, I'm just gonna say 10. I mean, it's a closet staple, but the style is worthy of selling. I can't look at the Viore, but I think that's about a $20 athletic wear on average. With the philosophy dress, that's probably 20 bucks, maybe 15. Ah, the editor pants, what did we say? $25 sale. These seamless leggings will probably go for like 15 since they're not branded unless I can figure it out. The Zella jacket will probably go for about 20. This free people will probably go for about 30. This for my average free people, ASP. And then this is probably gonna be for me, but if I were to sell it, I would probably sell it for 30. So $255 gross selling price times 0.8, assuming it all sold, sold on Posh, which means I, if this were all to sell, I would get about $204, which is half of what I paid for those four boxes. So I definitely think I made my money back on, this is about pretty average from each of the boxes that I found to resell. So just assuming that across all four boxes, about $200 back to me. So then 400 takeaway for the boxes, for the cost of goods, which means I'll probably make about $400. So you double your money. 
that's about it. I mean, I would not expect anything more out of mystery boxes. I've been doing YouTube for a few years and I've consistently done mystery boxes um, just for fun, just for like content, just to kind of see, because I know whenever they get popular, it's just fun to see. I'll be your guinea pig and, make, and, and let you know if I think it's worth more than doubling your money, but I don't, I don't think I've ever come to a consensus on any box with any more than doubling your money, if that makes sense. With liquidation, with uh, mystery boxes, I think you always just double. So that's my kind of consensus on that. This is the stuff that I can resell. And everything else, wish me luck at a Paisal trade store, um, or I think probably about, probably about a third of that would honestly probably sell on whatnot. Not for much, I mean, very similar to buy, sell, trade stores, but at least it'd be going to people that could actually use it and or want it. So usually this kind of stuff, I'll start things off anywhere from like three to $5. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. It definitely helps me here on YouTube. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any other uh, companies in mystery boxes that you want me to try do you want me to be your guinea pig and give you like some honest feedback I will happily happily do that for you um, I definitely also from straight up trash I've, I've donated it and I'll let the thrift stores decide what to do with it but I have had one full like stuffed trash bag probably to include that maybe a little bit more than a trash bag full of just stuff to you don't even want to waste your time with. So just keep that in mind with these boxes. But yeah, hope you guys had fun with me and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever day it is that you're watching this and I'll catch you in my next one. All right, bye. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every day.